Question two. What is the safest and best way to switch a client from enhancement to UV gel manicure coating? Is it better to grow out the enhancement or remove it properly and then apply a UV manicure coating? I feel like my client's nails look so weak and fragile after enhancement removal that I fear removal altogether. <laughs> Excuse me. So I grow out the enhancements by gradually thinning the existing product and applying the UV manicure service. But then I get a lot of chipping and flaking. Well, interesting question. Uh, first, I like to say there's no need to remove the enhancement that's in good shape. Generally, it's very successful to just fill in new areas of growth and continue growing the enhancement out and not removing it. Of course, if the enhancement is experiencing more substantial amounts of service breakdown, I re re recommend removing it and starting fresh with new product. However, UV manicures are very different types of services, and they're designed for complete removal on a regular basis. For that reason, I think it's best to completely remove the enhancement and then apply the UV gel manicure product, just because they're so different. The more important question is this though, why are your client's nails weak and fragile after removal? Normally that should not occur unless they were overfiled during application or the enhancement is removed improperly. Simply wearing a nail coating doesn't damage the nail. That's a huge myth. There's no damage caused by just wearing the product. Damage is a result from improper application or improper removal or both, not simply from wearing the enhancement. And remember, artificial nails are enhancements, not replacements. So it's the nail technician's job and responsibility to keep the natural nail healthy. The nail plate strength and health should never be compromised by a nail coating. And when properly applied and removed, any damage to the natural nail should be minimal to non-existent. If the nail plate were thicker than it was, if the nail plate was thicker and now thinner after removal. In other words, if the nail plate was thick and after you remove it, it's thinner. That thinning was not done by the product. That thinning was done by the nail file. Also, some are fooled because when while wearing an artificial nail coating, the water content of the natural nail plate can increase from 15 to 25 percent. When the enhancements are removed, that extra 10% of water can dramatically increase the flexibility of the nail plate. At, temporarily. By the next day, the moisture content will return to normal, and so will the nail's flexibility. So this is just temporary effect, uh, right after the enhancements removed. Some nail professionals and clients will misinterpret this extra flexibility as weakness. The nail isn't any weaker, it's just temporarily more flexible. <clears throat> now, if you determine any time that your client's nails are too weak or too fragile for nail services, you should discontinue any services that may further weaken the nail plate. <clears throat>